from our current data, we've actually found that 14.2% of our participants carry a genetic form of Parkinson's. I'm Dr. Anna Naito, Associate Vice President of Research Programs here at the Parkinson's Foundation. Today, I'm gonna to share some early results from our genetic testing initiative, PD Generation, Mapping the Future of Parkinson's Disease. PD Generation is a national study that offers genetic testing for Parkinson's related genes and genetic counseling at no cost for participants with a confirmed Parkinson's diagnosis. The goal of PD Generation is to improve Parkinson's care by accelerating research to advance treatment. And the study also helps people with Parkinson's and their clinicians identify whether they may qualify for enrollment into certain clinical trials based on their results. So this study uniquely addresses the three mission pillars of the foundation, including care, education, and research. We're excited to report that we have enrolled over 4,000 people with Parkinson's into the PD Generation study. And that means we've reached 26% of our goal to recruit 15,000 participants. PD Generation screens for mutations across seven genes that are linked to Parkinson's. And from our current data, we've actually found that 14.2% of our participants carry a genetic form of Parkinson's. The GBA gene is the most common genetic mutation found among our participants. Carriers of this gene may experience PD symptoms at an earlier age compared to those without a genetic form of Parkinson's. Another key PD generation finding is that 2% of our participants interestingly carried more than one genetic mutation. Parkinson's research has long been static, and this is because data have largely been based off of European ancestry populations. No two people with Parkinson's are identical. And that's why diversifying the data is so critical because it's gonna help us accelerate our pace of research, but really understand the underlying causes of the disease, which might not just be one pathway or one cause. Through PD Generation, we aim to make genetic testing accessible to every person living with Parkinson's. And we currently have participants enrolled across all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. The study offers genetic testing and counseling in both English and Spanish, which is a first of its kind for a research study of this scale. We also have collaborated with our PD Gene Latino Advisory Committee, who is helping us increase clinical research education and participation among the Hispanic and Latinx people living with Parkinson's. The goal of this advisory committee is to really learn about the needs of the community and then also learn about their experiences with Parkinson's so that we can come to them and address their needs. Between 2020 and 2021, the number of Spanish-speaking participants who enrolled in PD Generation increased by 40%, which is really exciting. And we recently formed a partnership with Morehouse School of Medicine that aims to make PD Generation more accessible to Black and African American communities the next phase of our genetic study is to focus on expanding to new areas and as part of our commitment to reach new populations, we are enrolling people across 23 testing centers and we're also continuing to offer at-home testing through telemedicine. We are currently in the process of expanding to Canada and Israel as well as several other countries that will help bring a new level of diversity and depth to our data. And more importantly, we can serve a broader community of people with Parkinson's. One of our future goals is to expand the PD Generation study to South America so that we can further diversify our data and to connect more people to clinical trials. So we're excited about the potential of PD Generation and helping researchers better understand the role of genetics in Parkinson's disease. To learn more about PD Generation or to enroll in the study, visit parkinson.org slash PD Generation or call our helpline at 1-800-4PD-INFO.